Please welcome this week's special guest, Edward. <laughs> so, uh, Robert, what is Edward to you? Uh, this is Edward. And I had such a crush on him at school that for the past 20 years, his name has been the basis for all of my passwords. <laughs> so, <laughs> Denise, what is Ed to you? This is Edward, and he helped me pick up my car and move it after I got blocked in by Daley Thompson. And finally, Lee, what is your relationship with Edward? This is Edward. I once dressed up as his wife. <laughs> so that his son would think that he'd seen his mum in the audience at the school play. <laughs> so, there we have it. Is Edward Robert's childhood crush, Denise's car carrier, or Lee's hoax husband? David's team, where to begin? Robert. Uh, so, were you school buddies together? Not especially, because um, Edward was terribly good at sport, you see. I seem to remember Edward being terribly good at the pole vault. <laughs> <laughs> How are you still in touch with Edward? Uh, we're not. I haven't seen Edward for a number of years. In fact. How is he doing, do you think? Would you still? <laughs> Can I just say that, as my fake husband, I have. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'd say he's definitely moved into a new bracket. <laughs> yeah. but a very happy one. Yeah. Yes, he's doing, he's doing very well, I'd say. You know, very, very well indeed. <laughs> now, you said you haven't seen him for a number of years. No, number Specifically, of years. when mm. was the last time you saw him? The last time I would have seen him would probably be 1993 or 94. 1993 or 4? <laughs> But there wasn't the need for passwords until around the year 2000. Well, yes, but they then came in, and I thought, what would be more marvellous than having Edward as the basis of my passwords? Is he still the basis of your passwords? No comment. What I will say <laughs> is that um, I spent a long time, and I was bored, looking for him on Facebook and that sort of thing. And on one occasion, um, I found him and, and messaged him, and there was no reply. And I, oh, I was very that's upset horrible! About that, <laughs> and I always wondered what happened to him. And now I see. <laughs> I'm struggling with this because uh, this is a thing that is done. I had a crush on a boy in school, and his name is the basis for my passwords as well. And I've been trying to stalk him on Facebook, <clears> but <throat> he doesn't exist. He's not on Facebook, which makes him even sexier. <laughs> I'm saying this is... So you've got that exact story? Very plausible. Yeah, this is my story. His name's Luke Mate. Do you know him? Yes. You I know Luke. Luke. No, you Mate. don't. Because he was yeah, like... Yeah, he lives two doors down from me. Single, li newly single. No. Yeah. He works for Medicine Sans Frontieres. As, he's a human rights lawyer, yeah. but works with them. <laughs> but he takes six months of the year off because he runs a, uh, a place for, for distressed puppies. <laughs> He's a good guy. You know what? I literally just set him up with someone last week. That's so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a great, thing. great guy. Head of All a guy. All right. Who would you like to? Uh, it's very plausible. Who would you like yeah. to quiz next? Uh, Denise, um, explain what happened with Edward in the car and Daley Thompson. Yes. Yeah, so I was parked uh, in the car park at a stadium. Which stadium? Birmingham, Alexander Stadium in Birmingham. And which car park? So, like you had just to... VIP. VIP. Okay. It's probably the Denise Lewis car park. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, if you own a car in Birmingham, you're automatically a VIP anyway. <laughs> Why are you clapping? <laughs> so, I'm in the car park, went off to work, um, had a big national championships, came back out, desperate to get back down to London, and my car was blocked, blocked in. That was... Daley Thompson. That was Daley Thompson. Yeah. Well, hang on. How do we know? Let's let's take it. Say, what happens next? Well, Eddie, mm -hmm. he's an, an official. Right. You know, he used to be an athlete. You can see he's well stacked. What was his sport? <laughs> he was actually a thrower. Of what? Th uh, discus. Sorry, discus. You're at, are you actually? <laughs> you're a BBC commentator, and you called him a thrower. A thrower. <laughs> <laughs> So he's a thrower of the incredibly heavy frisbee. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, he used to he used to compete um, yeah. national level. 
Okay. Didn't quite yeah. make it. Yeah. Didn't quite right, make it. It's not right, easy to get here. to the top. Yeah. yeah. It's not easy. Um, that's so, that's such so, a show-off thing to do. I'm, well, I'm sorry. Just, you know, I'm just it's saying. It's really, really hard to be an amazingly good athlete. <laughs> some, some people can do it. Some people yeah. can't do it, Eddie. I'm but... sorry. <laughs> So there you are, Denise. You're, you're, you're blocked in. Eddie Edward I mean, is there because is... he's an official. He used to throw things. <laughs> when does Daly come into it? Well, his has a private registration plate, and I didn't he's notice got, he's that. He's one of those people. Yes. Daily. What does it say? DT10. DT10. Of course. DT10. Right. Of course. Clever. <laughs> so, I, I need I need to get out of here quickly. Yes. Can you help? Yes. He said, "Let me go and get some of these other throwers." They said, listen, if we manoeuvre this car, swing the back out a little bit, you should be able to manoeuvre around Daly's mm -hmm. car. So you never met... I'm sure you have met Daly Thompson, but he never turned up during the anecdote. Couldn't find him anywhere. But it's only when I came back to the car did I realise it was his car because of the number plate. But you were looking for him before that. <laughs> The person I need to talk you to now to, is Daley to... Thompson, because if there's <laughs> someone who understands a parking crisis, <laughs> it's me. Can I just check, have you That's two a... met? Because you need is a really a... good defence lawyer. No, I do. <laughs> Can you continue? Yes, please do. So Eddie came to my aid... Yeah. ..and helped me manoeuvre the car... Yeah. ..and away I went. Away you went, and, and Daley Thompson turned up presumably later. I don't know, because I didn't see him. You didn't see him. Have you seen you... him since? Yeah. Yes. And have you mentioned this story to him? Yes. And okay, that checks out. And that's what, that's did what he said. Yeah, that's what did question. he say? Yeah. Oh, shut up. <gasps> he said, "Oh, shut yeah. up." This, you know... I've known Daniel a long time. One of the first things he said to me at the age of fourteen. Yeah. Um, he called look me. Look after this bear. Uh, so... <laughs> All right, now, yeah. now, of course, perhaps the most plausible of all is yet to, uh... <laughs> Just remind us, Lee. This is Edward. I once dressed as his wife, so his son would think he'd seen his mum... Right. ..whilst performing in the school play. What yeah. was the play? It was actually a nativity play. OK, and what was Edward's son playing? Edward's son was playing Joseph. Were your so. children in the play? My children were not in the play. It would have been inappropriate due to the fact that they don't go to that school. So you went... <laughs> you went to a school where your children are not enrolled, dressed as a woman... Correct. <laughs> ..to... ..trick a little boy into thinking you were his mum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when you say it like that, it does sound yeah. a bit dodgy. Let's go back to the beginning. How, how did this come about? How did Edward approach you? So, Edward was, uh, Edward was at the school and apparently he, he got a phone call off his wife saying that uh, she couldn't make it. Now, his wife had already missed three or four big events. You know, all the big ones that were important, like the sports days and the various things. And this was sort of like, I promise you I'm going to be there. I promise you I'll do mm. this one. So why, the... why wasn't she there? Well, something to do with work, something got... got, got What's happened. her work? I didn't get a chance to get into too many details. Ed Edward rang in a panic. Absolutely panic, anyway. What's, what's, what's her job? What's the wife's job? <laughs> yes. I actually don't know his wife very well. But do you no, know him? Well, so, but he, know he, Edward, yeah. You're the first person he called, though, but you don't know his... That's right, because okay. me and him do lots of things behind his wife's back, and he knows that... <laughs> so he rang you up... Yeah. ..and what did he say? He was panicking, though. Lee! I went, what? He said, she's not turned up again. I said, who? said, my wife. So what does she do for a living? He said, not now. <laughs> <laughs> he, said, he said, I need your help and I need it quickly. Yeah. I said, you know me, I'll always be there for you. He says, I need you to meet me at my house. So I get to the you house, get there. I run in the house, yeah. and he only had time for one phrase. Put this on. <laughs> he said, I need you to I need you to dress as my wife. Because last time I went to see him in a play, she didn't turn up. And, and, and I said, but you saw me, right? And he said, the kid said, no, I didn't see, because the spotlights are so bright. You just, everyone's just like a silhouette. So, <laughs> he, said, he said, that's how I think you can get away with this. I want you to dress as my wife, and then when, when he looks out, he'll think that, that you're, you're with me. Mm. Did he notice your beard? <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the thing. I said that. Now, as luck would have it, I don't know what his wife does, but she has a beard. <laughs> She works in a circus. <laughs> I don't know exactly what she does. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> that I was... always 
very well dodged, Lee. <laughs> no, she, she... At the time, I did not have a beard. Oh, I, you were clean-shaven. Yes, yeah. which is what, why he was annoyed, cos, like I say, she does. Did you...? <laughs> does she have a very distinctive silhouette? She does. I would describe her silhouette as Lee Mac-esque. <laughs> I think I could describe her. Did you have to wear a wig? Uh, no, I, di I didn't wear a wig, because, luckily, his wife has very short hair. And a beard. And a beard. <laughs> So you just went with your head uh, just went with, shaven, I went, but, yeah. I just went with, with her silhouette look. But and you with a hat, <laughs> scarf, But what pipe. did you wear? <laughs> <laughs> but you, you haven't told us... That's what, Jesus! <laughs> you haven't told us what you put on in your friend's so bedroom. he had all, all the things were about... All what, he, he got a range for you to choose? <laughs> Pick out something nice that you fancy. <laughs> he had it ready for me when I got there. He said, "This is what she would. She, we could get. This is the stuff that the kid would recognise." So we went. We went with a long Macintosh. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's Edward's son called? Edward's son is called uh, Eddie. <laughs> 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 It was a bad choice. Yeah, well, well little Ed. <laughs> and then after the, after the play, that lovely bit where the kids mm. excitedly go and meet with their parents again yes, and say, they, how was it? That was the bit how that we were worried it, about. <laughs> well, I had to do... I, there was only one thing that we could do. I said to him, you're going to have to co totally commit to this. And so we're now <laughs> married. <and laughs> we adopted him and we ran away. And the wife doesn't know where we are and this is the first time she would have known about <laughs> No, we, we, um, we, we actually... We stood at the back, and as he walked towards us, I sort of turned around, walked quickly and sort of waved like that. And he you said, ran away that? from him? Yes. <laughs> oh, what choice did I have? <laughs> and apparently, Big Ed said to me afterwards, he said, I just had to say, oh, Mummy's got to get back quickly. She's, uh, she's... Well, I don't know what she does for a living. He didn't know either. <laughs> <laughs> We need an answer. So, David's team. Is Edward Robert's childhood crush, Denise's car carrier, or Lee's hoax husband? Mm. Well, it's... Mm. Well, I mean, Lee, it... Lee was fairly convincing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hard to see past that, isn't it? What do you think? I feel like when Denise was telling her story, Edward was smiling a little bit more. Look at him. Look at his... See? <laughs> um, gosh, it's difficult, isn't it? I'm tempted to say Robert. You think Robert and... I'm really torn. I would say Denise, but I just don't know, cos I was wrong once already. Denise? OK, yeah. time to make a decision, David. Who's it going to be? Oh, right, so you, but you, you think it's Denise now? If you two think it's Denise, that's great, I can opt out. If you both think it's Robert, that's great, I can opt out. If you both think it's Lee, I'm overruling you. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we'll go Robert. You're going to say it's Robert. Mm. If this does turn out to be true, you do realise we're about to witness <laughs> quite a moment. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, Edward, would you please reveal your true identity? I am Edward, and I am I was Robert's Whoa! inspiration for a password. Would you like to say anything to Edward, Robert? I could dress up as you and fill in. I'm <laughs> <laughs> What would you like to say to him? Here's your chance. <laughs> <laughs> yes, um... Yeah, yeah. Hello, Edward. Hi. <laughs> well done, you really kept it together. <laughs> Edward, did you did, did you, you realise that Robert had this crush on you? No, not at all. Oh, oh you must have done. what a lovely evening this is for you! Then. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much, Edward. Very nice to see you.